Hello everyone, Kevin here from Pro Dirt. Just uh, trying out this new this new kind of video thing. You know, usually if you've seen our last videos, we're outside building, and um, due to this pretty crazy winter we've been having, it's just been blizzarding snow outside. You probably can't really see with GoPro, but there's about four feet of snow covering the dirt jumps, so. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit before we can get back outside and digging. So I wanted to take this time to uh, do something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is show you firsthand how to design bike parks or pump tracks in SketchUp, which is a pretty popular software for designing. I've been designing for about 10 years now. so. I know a few things, definitely uh, been trial and error, learning how to design bike parks in SketchUp because there there was no uh, resource to kind of learn. I just kind of pieced together different things I knew how to do and figured it out my own way. I'm, I'm sure other people do it the same way, but who knows? There's no uh, tutorials I see online to do this, so I figured I'd make my own and hopefully you can watch along and learn how to design your own pump tracks. Um, so I'm gonna go here and log into SketchUp and get started. All right, guys. Once you are logged into SketchUp, what either um, if you pay for it or you're using the free trial, doesn't matter. Same platform either way. So we're gonna log in. This is what your screen's gonna look like. You're gonna see these axes, axes, axes these axes. I don't know how to say it, but this is what it's going to look like. Step one, we need to use more than just these tools that we're given right here. So we're going to go to view, tool palettes, sandbox. The sandbox tools are the key to making a realistic looking roller. And by the way, we're just going to start with doing a roller today for the first tutorial. I don't want to jump or dive too deep. Just want to start with something simple. All right, so we're going to be working with this second button right here under the sandbox tools. Again, if you want to access them, go under tool palettes, sandbox. We're going to click this one. We're going to make sure that our grid spacing is one foot. Click once. Drag your mouse a little bit. Click again. Drag your mouse a little bit and click again. So that's what we're going to make our roller within. Nice little square I've made up of a bunch of smaller squares. So this is one solid group right here. We're going to have to right click it and hit edit group in order to work with it. Okay. By the way, command B is orbit so we can look at it from different angles. So first things first, how do we differentiate the trail surface from the side of the roller? Because for visual purposes, you're gonna have to color the surface a different color. So we're gonna start by just highlighting where you want the surface to be. Something like this, you know? But if I wanna just do it all in one, all in one click, I'm gonna have to click this. Still not perfect, but close enough. Kind of like hold shift and get additional cells that you want. Oh, and all these. All right. I have highlighted the surface of my pump truck to differentiate it from the side slopes. I'm going to click the paint. I'm going to color it. Let's do this in asphalt. So click the asphalt color. Boom. Done. And say I want to make the side slopes a different color. Say uh, grass colored. I'm going to hold down option. And click all the white and it will change that color. My roller is not exactly centered so let me delete a couple 
rows off the edge over here. Again, I have to double click it or right click and go into the group itself. All right, that looks pretty even. Cool. All right, now that I have the trail differentiated from the side slopes, we will start creating the shape. So first things first, let's start by using this third, uh, third tool down. So to make this grid, we use this tool. Now to make the shape, we're going to use this tool right here. So open the group by hitting edit group. Actually, before we start making the shape, so just to give you an idea, the way I learned was like this, you know, you click this, you click somewhere, you drag up, and you're going to want to first specify the radius. Bigger radius means bigger roller. All right, the problem with doing it this way is now we have like kind of one boob shaped thing when ideally we want it flat on top. So to create, the easiest way, I should say, to create the flat top is just erasing these lines. So now we have a square in the middle. Click the square. Now use this tool. And as we drag it up, it's taking that rectangle and pulling that holding up at the same time. So now we have a flat roller instead of a kind of circular mound. See what I'm saying? And then at that point, if we want to change the shape of our roller, we can do, do the same thing again. Click the middle, click this tool, define a smaller radius, say like seven, and then pull that up again. And now our roller is a little more uh, peaky than it was before. Cool, I'm happy with that roller. I would definitely ride it. All right, at this point, we have a nice roller but the roller kind of ends and then we have a little extra space. So when we copy and paste this to make multiple rollers, there's gonna be a pretty big flat spot between the rollers. So to fix that, I'm just gonna go in, kind of erase out these extra boxes. All right, now, we, now we're pretty much right at the end of where the roller flattens out with no extra space. Let me just clean that up a little bit. Cool. And the size a little bigger still. Need to get one more row. All right, nice. That's a solid roller. So now I can copy and paste it. Make a couple. And then I can drag them up or down to create various shapes and sizes as you desire. You now maybe I want this to be a little, little wider, a little taller. Yeah. All right, there you go. So what we have now is a nice camelback shape. And there you go. That's pretty much uh, the first step of learning how to design a pump track. Next, we will get into berms. So if you want to see that video, just click the next video that pops up here at the end and we can dive into berm design. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped. See you later.